lovely people of the world, today we'll be making some celestial DIY, so pour yourself a cup of tea or a coffee and light a nicely scented candle and let's get making. For this first DIY you will need some cardstock. I'm using a glittery rose gold cardstock but you could use silver or gold or literally anything, even plain white or a craft cardstock would look nice. You'll need any kind of tape and some scissors as well as any kind of string. I have linked a template for you down below with a whole bunch of different stars that you can use for this project but if you have like a star shaped puncher you can use that or you can freehand it. But if you decide to use this template, you just got to print it out and then pick which stars you want to use. I've decided to use the medium five point star and the small five point star. So all you got to do is cut out the template that you want to use and then use it to trace the shape onto the back of your cardstock that you're using. And then just cut it out. And once you have all of your stars cut out, you just gotta lay them upside down on any surface. I'm alternating between the big and the small stars. And then you just wanna grab some string and place it on the back of the stars and secure the stars in place with some tape. And that's it. These are really cute and super easy. You could try doing moons or circles or other shapes um, with different colors. Yeah. For this next DIY, you will need an embroidery hoop, any size will do, and some fabric that will fit your embroidery hoop. And you will need some thread. I'm using this metallic silver thread, which is really pretty. Um, yeah, and you will also need some needles as well as some scissors. To secure your fabric to your hoop, you'll just want to unscrew the little screw at the top and take the inside hoop out, lay some fabric over it and then put the outside hoop on top of it and then tighten it to secure it in place. I'm dividing my thread into separate strands. I'm only going to use one strand for this embroidery because it's a pretty delicate design. And then I'm just threading it through my needle and tying a knot at the end. I'm doing the Aquarius constellation, so I've put little crosses where each star goes. Feel free to do any constellation you like. I'm just starting off by stitching a straight line upwards and then doing another straight line from side to side. I've never actually done embroidery before this, so if I'm doing something wrong, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to go ahead and do two diagonal lines. And there you have a simple star shape. To connect the stars for the constellation, I'm just doing a straight stitch. I don't know what it's called, but I'm like doing a straight stitch and then skipping a bit and then doing a straight stitch again and then skipping a bit and then doing another star and then doing a straight stitch and then another star and just repeating that until I have done the entire constellation. And this is the finished Aquarius constellation. Um, to fill out the little spaces, I'm going to do small crosses to be like little stars. Yeah, so they're like little star things. And I just did those in random places and that's that finished. And I'm just going to clean it up by cutting off any of the excess fabric because I want to leave it in the embroidery hoop and just hang it up on my wall. 